Okay, let's take a look at what a character style is and a paragraph style in Adobe Muse. What that is doing is when you go in and you set up your text and you want to keep your styling consistent from page to page, you can create styles that will automatically be applied and apply that format. So for example, if I'm going to go in and let's say I'm going to customize this paragraph of text, I've gone over here and changed the letting up to one and a half times because when you make and change the letting that much, it does make it easier to read. And I might go up in the font size up here. Let's go up to 16 on the body text because that's definitely going to help out there. And I'll go back over to my text panel and I'll, I'll increase the indent and the indent's going to indent the first line of the paragraph automatically for me. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the paragraph style. I'm going to create, click on a new uh, paragraph style and it comes up with a default name. First thing I'm going to do is double click on the default name. It opens up the property box. I'm going to type in body text. Now what I'm going to do is you can put a little more information in here. Um, because I'm using the uh, uh, this type of font, I'll put the font name in um, for that. Sometimes people will go in and put the font size as well, you know, 16. Um, so that's up to you on that part and then it goes in over here. Now well, here's the beauty of this. Anytime I want to apply it, I click in the paragraph and I click on that style. It automatically applies it. So like up here, if I want this subhead, I'll create a new style on this. I'll double click. Click OK. And then anytime I want to apply that, it applies it to that. Now, of course, I wouldn't do that to the whole entire paragraph. So the key here is styles really come in play when you really want to go in and keep things consistent. What's the difference in a character style? A paragraph style applies it to the whole paragraph. And it's the same thing you learn in Illustrator and InDesign. Character styles apply it just to the words or phrases that you want to stand out. So let's say I want to take this phrase, I want to bold it. I'm going to bold it. I'm also going to change its text color so it stands out. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to this character style panel. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to do the same thing I did with the paragraph style. I'm going to double click. I'm going to type in, this time I'm going to type in bold text. So I know anytime I bold, if I want to bold a word or a phrase, I'll use this style. I click OK. And then if I come in down here somewhere else and I want to do that, I come over to the style, I click on bold text, and it applies that color for it. So it's a great feature to work with and it's something that you want to kind of incorporate when you start working with your design.